Today's topic is story writing. Story is basically a narration or prose fiction of real or imaginary events involving real or imaginary people. We usually write story to entertain or to send a message across. Let's understand step by step how to write a nice story. Let's get started. Story is basically divided into two types, fiction and non-fiction. Fiction story is a made-up story like imaginary events, fairy tales, fantasy, science fiction, adventures, and historical fictitious ventures, mythology, etc. While non-fiction stories are the stories that are real-life events or experiences, news and current events, historical facts, biographies and autobiographies, crime and justice, cultural and scientific history, memories and experiences, etc. There are six components of a good story. Let's understand one by one. Title and moral, plot and characters, past tense and dialogues, descriptions using senses, three paragraphs, and at the end, resolution and conclusion. Let's understand all these points one by one. Title should be very catchy and a few worded as well. Just avoid writing full full sentences in the title. Moral should be separately written at the end and it's better to write a traditional moral. Then come to the plot. Plot should be logical and sequential like it should have a rising action, climax, and a falling action. Then come to the characters. A good story have all kind of characters. Dynamic, round, protagonist, antagonist, flat, and stock. Then to describe these characters, we should use a lot of good adjectives. Story should be written in past tense. All four tenses of past tense should be utilized especially focusing past indefinite tense and past perfect tense. Then next tip is inserting dialogues. My story should also comprise some dialogues. So dialogues in the story should be very very short and few dialogues. It shouldn't look like a dialogue writing. Next tip is descriptions using senses. Well we have five senses. Sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of touch, sense of smell and sense of taste. We should describe incidents that what did the characters see, what did the characters hear, what did the characters touch, what did they smell and what did they taste. This sort of description adds reality to the story. We can add details to the story giving answers of all WH words like when, why, how and what had happened next. This is also a very very nice tip. Next is resolution and conclusion. Well, the conclusion of the story should be satisfying. It means that your readers must be satisfied with the ending of the story. Then it should be positive as well. Why? Because if your story ending with a negative note, it is not considered a nice story. Your conclusion should be logical as well. You can also end your story with a broad statement if you are ending it in a question mark. These are the basic tips and tricks of writing a good story. Hope you have understood all the points nicely. Next video would be a specimen story. If you like the video, kindly comment and share. That's all for today. Take care.